On a boat, people. You gotta come out and try this. We're on the Erna B today at a Channel Island Sport Fishing with Real Anglers. Got a packed boat, gotta have a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun out here today with Royal Anglers on the Erna B at a Channel Island Sport Fishing. Let's go. Once we left the harbor, we traveled up the coast to fish the rigs. With live squid in the tanks, the crew set anglers up for some sand bass fishing. Let's go. So we're up in the mud off the Ventura Flats right now. We got some fish scattered. We're gonna make a first drift. And see if we can't get some of these bass and barracuda to bite for us out here on real anglers. Let's go. Bass fishing is a lot of fun. These suckers can put up a good fight. They have to be 12 inches to keep and the limit on bass is 10. Here we're using whole squid, live squid. Say hello. Using a, -out, a two out hook. Six ounces of lead. These sand bass primarily stay right on the bottom. You better call them sand bass because they're right in the mud. So that's your setup. Six ounce sinker, sea bass setup. That's it. All right, so we're, we're fishing right on the bottom, the sand bass. But the captain said they're coming from the bottom up to about 40 feet. So you want to check up and down. So leave it on the bottom for a little bit. Then I'll put about five turns on it. And I'll leave it sitting there for a couple minutes. Nothing there, I come up another five turns. And uh, just keep it coming up and down. Just want to keep checking the depth. Turn it right on the bottom, come up a couple of turns, come up a couple of turns, back down to the bottom, come up a couple of turns, come up a couple of turns, back to the bottom. I want to see if they're kind of hanging in at a certain depth. Bass were biting a little slow in the morning. We'll be back for them in the afternoon. The captain made a quick move to a little deeper water for some rockfish to fill up the sacks. The expert crew set anglers up for some deeper fishing. We cut up some squid, rockfish favorite, and it didn't disappoint. That's a nice one. Is it me? No, that's not you. You? We've come, we're still on the beach. We just went out to deeper waters. The sand bias kind of tapered off. We picked a few of them. Now we're fishing a little deeper out here for some shallow water rockfish. They're biting pretty good so far, as you can see. I got one biting here now. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah. So when you're rock fishing, what you want to do is just straight winding. Put your rod straight down on the, uh, on the rail and just wind. Rockfish are kind of easy to catch. You don't need to keep swinging up and down, up and down. I keep when you keep doing that, you're gonna tear a hole in the fish's mouth. The hook's gonna come out. So the best bet is just to straight wind it. Let the rod and the rail do all the work. All you gotta do is crank. It's called a straight wind. And you keep more fish on that way. Let's see what we got here. Got another grouper. So this is one of those salmon groupers. If you 
you've seen the other episodes, you've seen these before. The ones where their air bladder pops out. So out here in the deeper waters, which you catch the salmon grouper or boccaccio. It's my second one. Your limit is two on these, so I'm done catching these for the day. Boccaccio, salmon grouper, real langers, fishing show. I told Sometimes just jump on these three quarter day boats and come out and catch a couple of fish for the sack, get the breeze in your face, enjoy a day off of work, come out and just catch a few fish. A whopper. All that for a little green. That's a whopper. This is how we do it on real anglers. afternoon the sun came out the current switched up and the bass came out to play yep. got another one here on the plastic later in the day we're gonna come back to fish some sand bass and uh, now I'm using the plastic sand bass are picking up here still using the light lighter gear Let's see what we got here is that a calica lighter gear Not the biggest, but a beautiful one. Oh, oh my God! Say, that's the one I've been hunting this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got it. It's your fish, man. Get Thank you very shot. much. Get in the shot. Got him. No humans are harmed in the filming. What's up, guys? Here with Real Anglers. Just caught some big fish. Having a great day in this beautiful, sunny state of California. Thank you guys very much for all the beautiful fish and the bounty that we've caught. Hoping to have another beautiful day. Have a great day, guys. Sean is one of the best fish cutters on the coast. Takes his time to make sure not to waste any of that meat and also that you end up with no bones in your fillets. Okay, it's a Petrale Sol and these used to be relatively common when we could fish real deep water. Now we just get them every now and then that we're limited to a depth of 360 feet. This was a nice one here. It's about three and a half pounds. Sometimes they're confused with a halibut, but the trolley sole has a smaller mouth. And even though it has teeth, they're not as prominent. They're smaller than that of a halibut. Also, the lateral line isn't, isn't as abrupt in the arch. The arch is a little bit smaller in the petrolley sole and that's how you can tell these different from the halibut. What a fun trip with a great crew. The Ernaby has a fully stocked galley with breakfast, lunch, and snacks. In the wheelhouse, the newest in electronics to put you on the fish. What a great day today. Thanks to the captain and the crew. I encourage you to give the Ernaby a shot. 